Mad Max Fury Road is an awesome film, truly epic. It made money back in 2015 and was nominated for numerous accolades. With this, you would think the next film would be a sequel capitalizing on the success of Fury Road, correct? Well, you re half right. We did get another film capitalizing off the success of Fury Road. However, it's a prequel film that explores the origin of Charlie Theron's character of Furiosa. Not what I was expecting, but it's still Mad Max. So with that said, is Furiosa a good follow film to Fury Road? Yes, yes it is. While it doesn't overtake Fury Road, it's still a good film. It keeps the energy of Mad Max while also being a very engaging origin story for an intriguing character. The aspects of the film that are the bright sports would be the cast performances, the action sequences, and the score. Starting off with the performances, the cast as a whole does a great job. Anya Taylor Joy nails it as Furiosa. She does a good job with emoting instead of dialogue, and the younger version of Furiosa played by Alilla Brown does a great job with the screen time that she had. Other standouts include Tom Burke, Chris Hemsworth, and Latchy Hume who absolutely kills it in their roles. To be honest, not one bad performance, in my opinion, of this film. Everyone is having a grand old time, and it's awesome. Next up, the action in this film has to be one of the best aspects of the film. While there's a bit more CGI in this film compared to Fury Road, it's not noticeable. It still keeps the practical effects that made Fury Road great. The action sequences in Furiosa are good. They are spaced out to allow for the story to shine, but whenever there's action, they do a great job of being epic and keeping the engagement of the viewer. And lastly, the score of the film is magnificent, bringing back Fury Road's Tom Hockenborg to do the music was a great choice. The music does a great job of adding a good touch of tone to the scenes. From the bombastic highs of the action, chase scene, to the quiet, somber, and emotional scenes, the music does well to fit with it. The only aspect of the film that is a bit of a downside would be the runtime, clocking in at 2 hours and 25 minutes. While it does quite a bit to tell its narrative and it spans from 15 to 20 years. However, I feel that possibly cutting about 15 to 20 minutes, I still believe the film could still tell its engaging narrative. But besides that, the film is still great. Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, was released on May 24, 2024 on a budget of $168 million. At the time of this review, it has grossed $110 million at the box office. Overall, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga is a good follow-up to Fury Road. With strong performances and great action, it's a great addition to the series. I'm curious about what will be next in the Mad Max saga. Final grade. Uh. This is fun! <laughs> Hello.